Hey everyone, this is KingSign. In this video, we'll be introducing the different modules on the main interface of the KRT software. Let's get started with the test modules. The AC test implements basic functions, allowing users to manually or automatically set parameters such as voltage, current, and frequency for static or ramping output. The ramping module allows users to edit and manage a ramping state table, which can contain multiple ramping states. Each ramping state can also include multiple variables. After setting the tuning parameters and deviation values, the software can automatically determine whether the test results are qualified. State Sequencer lets us set a series of states, which can be used to test trip times or other time measurements. By using the state sequence, we can perform overcurrent protection and rec losing tests. Harmonic allows us to manually or automatically output two sets of static voltage, current, and frequency, or ramp output with specified harmonic superimposition. We can add up to 63 harmonics. Frequency test includes five functions, operating frequency, operating time, slip lock frequency protection, low current lockout frequency protection, and voltage lockout protection. These are used to validate frequency protection. Transplay allows us to edit and adjust the voltage or current channel data, replay a specific waveform, and output the fault waveform repeatedly. Distance allows us to test distance protection relays based on the impedance range and trip times defined in the impedance characteristic. We can perform the test using shot test or search test. Overcurrent is used for definite time overcurrent and inverse time overcurrent testing. We can set various overcurrent curves for testing. Differential is a test module used to simulate internal faults within a protected zone. We can use either shot test or search test. Harmonic restraint is used to test the harmonic restraint characteristics of differential protection devices. It supports both shot test and search test. Diff configuration is used to simulate and test external faults outside the protected zone. When a fault occurs outside the differential protection range, the protection should not trip reliably. Reclose is used to test the automatic reclosing function of line protection devices. It allows us to simulate the pre- and post-reclosure states with post-acceleration. Synchronizer is a module that simulates connecting a generator to the network or power grid and performs synchronization checks. PowerSwing uses a two-terminal transmission system model to simulate the oscillation process of the system and the voltage and current output at the protection location when a fault occurs during the oscillation. Transducer is a module used for calibrating the accuracy of transmitters. The energy module is used for testing and calibrating the functionality and accuracy of energy meters. In the settings section, we can view and modify the tester's hardware and software configurations. In the hardware section, we can set and edit the online IP address for the tester, and it will also display the basic parameter information of the connected testing device. In the software section, global parameter settings are defined. Auxiliary DC is used to supply power to the protection device. The auxiliary DC output is independent and unaffected by any other test modules. The calibration feature is used to test and calibrate the device's parameters, and it requires authorized access. Once entering the password, we'll enter the calibration interface, where we can adjust the hardware settings of the tester, as well as calibrate the amplifier and low-level outputs. In this interface, we can calibrate voltage and current for either single phase or all phases. We can set custom calibration points, save the calibration coefficients, or download them to an external device. It also allows us to clear the current coefficients, back them up, or import coefficient configurations from an external file. The upgrade feature is used to update the tester's firmware after a successful connection with the tester. Click the upgrade bottom. Locate and load the corresponding new firmware file. Then, choose Upgrade and wait for the process to complete. Once finished, a Upgrade Successful dialog will appear, and the device will automatically restart. The License feature allows us to view the current authorized functions and licenses. We can also import a new license certificate to unlock additional features. 
the help feature opens the KRT software user manual. Clicking on the language option in the bottom left corner allows us to switch the language and change the color scheme of the KRT software main interface. That's it for our introductory video. If you have any specific questions or need assistance with any operations, feel free to reach out to us.